Hi guys, this is Nelly and today's video is all about this. Look at this animation. I made this animation from scratch. I mean writing prompts, generating photos and even animating photos all and all only using one AI tool. Let's watch a few seconds more. This is a small bakery where every day opens early morning and has regular customers. The owner of bakery is Liam. Liam is friendly, trying to make good connection with people. These special cookies are going to make your day, I promise! He is hard worker, but not always satisfied with what he has. I am working against the clock every day. Yep. But there is no way I can get rich with this job. He has big dreams of becoming rich. That's amazing, isn't it? Let's jump into the tutorial. This magic AI tool we're gonna use is LTX Studio. You can click on the link in the description and it will take you to this homepage. Then click on start for free, sign in with either Google or email. Once you signed up to start, click on this new project. And there we go, this is the first step of your journey. Now to input your concept, click on stick to the script. In this box, you just need to type your idea. And as you see, it says input anything from a full script, a new scenes, or a story. Let's say right now I just have a simple idea and I don't have the full story. So I will put You can explain more or less that's your choice and your idea. However, the magic part of LTX Studio is that it can expand one sentence idea to a full story and not only that, it will also generate each scene prompt and photo. Once you are good with it, click on the next button. LTX generated my main character and named it Liam. On this left hand side settings menu, I can set the aspect ratio. I will keep it 16 by 9, but let's say if it's for shorts, you can go with 9 by 16 or if it's for Instagram, 1 by 1. Here you can name your project. This is good dreams of the bakery. Then under the video style section, I can view all the styles I have. This one is right now cinematic style but i want to change it to 3d cartoon that's really cool but it also gives me the option of editing my character so i click on this edit button here i can change the name the age even so for instance let me increase it to like 30 i can also change the essence of my character ambitious young man with dreams of wealth which is good here i can change the appearance of my character let's say i want to change the color of eyes so i will here change it to like green and add beard i can also change the clothes i will change it to t-shirt just to show you how it makes changes perfect when i'm good with my character i will click on the apply button you can also add more characters by clicking on this button you will click on it and do the same process set the name age essence and fill in all the parts and then click on the apply button it will automatically create your characters based on the prompt you input but right now for this story i don't need any other main characters so it's all good i will click on the next button in this step ltx has expanded my idea as you see it gave me the breakdown the story follows liam baker an ambitious 30 year old man working in a bakery it has also provided me with the scenes right now i have only 
one scene which I can modify it and change it to what I like simply by clicking, removing parts or adding. Also, what I can do is add new scenes by clicking on this button, add a name for the scene, explain it and location which for example in this scene, the location is the bakery. I can change it later. Also, I can add the date and the lighting format but I don't want to make it too long so I will stick to this one scene to just show you how to work with LTX. Once you are done with this step, click on the start button and boom! LTX generated almost 17 photos for my story. Let me show you here. These are all the scenes and you can see that each scene includes the detailed prompt, shot type which you can later change it, composition and even you can add a dialogue to your character. Guys, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole and explain each and every features of LTX Studio because it's gonna take too long. However, in the future, I will definitely create a complete comprehensive video which will coming out soon. I will give you a rough idea how to work with LTX if you need to modify each scene. For instance, for this scene, let's say you don't like the photo generated by LTX. So simply go ahead and click on this refresh button. This one is also very bulky. I don't like it either. Again, I will click on the refresh button. This one is nice. Or let's say, for example, you don't like the shot type. Here, you can simply click on this drop down menu and change the shot type let's say extreme wide shot maybe it will again recreate another photo for me also for each scene you can go ahead and modify the prompt for example take out words from it or add words to it but what we need to pay attention to is that as a free user you have limited access it is 800 computing seconds and for one time which means that you are not gonna get get daily free access use. If you are going to upgrade your subscription, good for you. I highly recommend it, especially if you are going to focus on this niche. But if not, do what I will tell you. What I would do if I am going to stick to the free plan is that I will use LTX Studio to generate all the photos for me and the reason is that it is perfect in generating consistent characters. This is not what you can easily find in all the AI tools. See how they are consistent. Look at this one. I can say that it's almost 90% precise. Once you generated all the photos you need for all the scenes, if you still have some some free credits to use start with animating your photos how click on this generate motion button and give it some time to animate your photo Let's say I didn't like it, so this time I want to modify the prompt to get a better result. I will remove this part to focus more on the action which is needing though. And now again generate motion. this is really good once you are okay with the result simply click on these three dots and download it again i will move forward to animate some other photos for instance this one i will click on generate motion as many as photo i can with ltx but definitely my free access will be done soon so i should animate the rest of the photos with another ai tool which i will later show you in this video this one is also very nice i will download it this one it has a big flaw which i have two liams i should refresh it it says that interacting with a customer across the counter so let's refresh it to see what we will get in the meantime i will also generate motion for this one Let's check the result for this one. It is really good. I will download it. 
and see for this one i try to generate the photo twice and for the third time i modify the prompt a little bit so that i got this photo which is perfect let's just animate it okay this one is also nice what i'm gonna do is to keep going and doing it to the point that i'm done with my free access i don't want to take it too long but let's say we will continue it to the point we are out of any free access in that case what i will do is to just go ahead and download all the photos one by one let's say this one all of them once you have downloaded all the photos for all the scenes you need go to hiloai.video the link is in the description for you to use because this is the tool we're gonna use to animate the rest of the photos then go to create video upload one of your images again go back to the ltx studio to copy the prompt paste it here he is once you are good click on this button let's check it it is really good isn't it that's why I highly recommend Hilo for animating photos in the free version. You will have watermark in the right hand side corner, which I think we can easily get rid of that by cropping. So I will download it. And also I should say that as a free user with per email address, I will get to animate two photos per day, which obviously if you use different email addresses, you can animate more photos per day. The last step is very easy. Import all the videos you generated using LTX Studio in a video editing application you normally use. For me, it's CapCut. Then drag them one by one to the timeline to put them together. Add transitions between the videos if you like. I normally use this transition which is very simple between the shots which is a big change in the scene. Like this one. okay so far so good for the narration part i recorded my own voice you can generate using ai the ai tool that i highly recommend to turn your text to speech is Eleven lab simply here in this box type your text I used it to generate liam's voice and here change the speaker You can also adjust the speed, similarity, stability, and simply download it. At the end, add a background music, and that's it. Export your video and your animation is ready.